Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with the NK. Stay frosty. Taco Bell unveils what they're calling this year's biggest innovation as it takes their fan favorite Chalupa into cheesy new territory. And it looks like that cheesy new territory has been aged by six months. Guys, feast your eyes on a toasted cheddar Chalupa featuring six month aged sharp cheddar toasted right into the shell. And I have to admit, this looks really, really nice. The textural look on the outside is looking nice and crispy and it looks really nice against that Chalupa shell there, looking really cool. I like how it sits in the naked chicken Chalupa sleeve so it's gonna be easier to hold and not get your fingers too greasy. Let's take a look on the inside of this one. As you can see, all the usual Taco Bell goodies here. We've got reduced fat sour cream, lettuce, cheese, tomatoes, and on the very bottom, decided to go with some steak just to switch it up a bit here. But looking okay for what it is, this is actually very similar to the regular Chalupa Supreme. The only difference is instead of a three cheese blend, you're just getting a little bit of shredded cheese here. But for all intents and purposes, this really is the toasted cheddar Chalupa Supreme in my eyes. Looking really cool. Let's see if the flavor is gonna deliver on this one. It smells really, really good. This cheese is very strong on this one. Guys, it's the toasted cheddar Chalupa, brand new here at Taco Bell. Let's keep out this flavor. Yeah, definitely a very sharp smelling cheddar cheese on this one for sure, guys. Very excited to get into this one. But before I do, and like always, if you guys are fans of high quality, delicious looking food reviews, which I think many of you are, hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to tap the bell icon so you can be notified as soon as new content drops every week. Here we go. It's the toasted cheddar chalupa with steak here at Taco Bell. Mmm. Crunchy. Mmm. Strong, rich cheese flavor on that. Really nice. I gotta admit though, while I am loving the toasted cheddar flavor of this one, it's got a nice saltiness to it. It's kind of clashing just a little bit with the actual chalupa shell itself. I mean, the chalupa on its own, it's kind of like a little bit of a buttery type of flatbread, like a pita, but it's got its own thing going on with that. But with this cheese added to it, the sharpness of that aged cheddar is really going toe to toe with it. But I have to admit, it seems just a little bit overwhelming, just a little bit to me at least, but the flavor is decent. Everything on the inside of the actual chalupa is the same as I always know from the chalupa itself. I mean, I like it, it's tasty, don't get me wrong, but it's just a little little off to me, but let's just keep going with it. Well, it's definitely a smart move to have the sleeve with this one because it's a very oily type of outer coating, obviously, here, guys. So I'm glad that they actually have some protection for the fingers. But on the inside, again, all the usual stuff from Taco Bell. Decided to go with the steak, like I mentioned, because I am a fan of the steak here anyway. And I thought the meat would be just a little bit more milder to really give me more of the flavor of this toasted shell on the outside to really see how the quality of it is instead of just the beef, which I find just a little overwhelming sometimes. But guys, I like the toastiness of this one. I like the overall flavor of the cheese itself. But like I said, I think it's just a little off in terms of what they have it on here because of the flavor of the actual chalupa shell itself being what it is. Of course, that's just my humble opinion. But on the real, as tasty as the cheese is on this, it really only makes me long for the idea of having like a newer version of the quesalupa that came out a few years back. That was actually pretty amazing with the pepper jack cheese on the inside. So you had a little bit of that cheese pull action and it just seemed more full. But this is kind of a step in the direction to give you something similar, but a little bit easier for them to make, I have a feeling. But I like the quality of it. But like I said, the execution is just a little off because of the combination of the sharpness of the cheese on this one and the shell itself. But it's tasty though, it's not bad. So overall, not bad in the execution because you do get a decent amount of that aged cheddar on the outside and you can really see the textural difference. It's really, really nice. One thing to note also with this is the chalupa shell itself does feel just a little bit thinner compared to the standard ones. So you're probably noticing that on the sides there. But decent for what this is, it's not something I don't think I would ever get again, to be honest, even in the beef form, but only because the chalupa is not exactly my all-time favorite. I know a lot of you guys love it, but for this execution of it, for this type of novelty, it's okay for what it is. Yeah, this one wasn't the banger I was hoping it was gonna be. I mean, naturally the sharp cheddar on the outside is the major highlight, it's the major selling point, and what they executed with that is very, very good. I mean, the quality of that aged cheddar was really tasty. I just think it would have been better suited on something maybe on the outside of a quesalupa type of shell and maybe a little bit of cheese on the inside of that to really load it up. But as it stands, that's just wishful thinking. For what I got here today, it's just okay. So with that said, based upon my opinion of this one, I'm gonna have to give the toasted cheddar chalupa, the steak variant, just an okay seven out of 10. I really can't go much higher than that because naturally the quality overall was really great on the shell itself and everything on the inside was the familiar Taco Bell flavor. It's just that like you've heard me mention throughout this review, something was just off between the flavor of the chalupa shell itself and that toasted cheddar. It just didn't really feel like it was working for me, but overall it's just all right. Now, of course, the obvious question is, do you think this one looks all right? Drop those comments down below. Are you really excited to give what's supposed to be one of the biggest innovations ever at Taco Bell a try over here? And if you are, how excited are you to try it with the steak, the beef, or maybe even the chicken if you can get it that way? I'm sure you can. 
Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another episode of Peep This Out, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So I stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Come on, Taco Bell, bring back the quesalupa. I mean, it's been so long. I think it's time, right? All right, everyone, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. But hey, real quick before you go, and just in case you haven't already, take a look at the last review that I put out right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.